you know, before even diving into your career and background, who who is Shams, bro? Like, who who were you growing up? What's your what's your background? What did your parents do? Yeah, so both my parents are, are based in the medical field. My mom's a nurse, um, so very early on, it, you know, when I was growing up, the medical field was definitely ingrained in me. And I think there's a standard, you know, being being something in the medical field, being a lawyer, being an accountant, something like that. I think was always something that was ingrained in my mind, and you know, reaching that type of of success in terms of having a stable job. Um, but you know, growing up, I, 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 I've I've always felt like I'm a simple person. I'm very I'm, I'm pretty simple. Like I have my likes. I have a few dislikes, but most mostly I, I just go with the flow. I loved, I loved when I was growing up. I loved playing basketball, so that was my my passion. I played, got cut uh, in, in early in high school. Once I got cut, like I'm not going to be like MJ and make it to the NBA. So I had to find my own path. I had to find a different path, and I I loved uh, the NBA and I loved basketball. So how can I stay around it without playing? And at the same time, around sophomore year of high school. I loved writing um, as well. I, that passion grew for me. And my English teacher told me you should try out for the newspaper and, and try writing and, and really combining your passions. And that's what I did. And so that process for me, the process of where I'm at now, really started sophomore year of, of high school. So what is that? 16 years, 16 years old. So I'm 28 now and I, I've been doing this, not at this level in terms of like the degree of stories that I'm working on now and the, and the conversation I'm having now, but I've been kind of charting this path and, and really honing in um, on what I want to do since I was, you know, sophomore in high school. So um, that, that's, that's really what I am. I, I'm, I'm someone that has to be, you know, 100% committed in whatever I'm doing, whether it's, um, you know, classwork, whether it's, um, you know, what I'm doing now, whether it's, it's, it's friendship, whatever, like I, I always have to be 100% committed. Otherwise I feel like I'm cheating myself i feel like i'm cheating the other side whether it's 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 the work whether it's the school whether it's whatever so unfortunately sometimes i feel like i definitely cheated the homework in terms of not actually <laughs> cheating but you know i was always like you know i was in and out of class at different points i was i was really focused on what i wanted to do more so than the actual schoolwork at, at that point but I, again i think those experiences all helped me um you know being in the classroom meeting all the people that i met at Loyola, people like you uh that i've been able to continue to stay close with um, but even even guys off that that champ, uh, you know, the team that made to the run to, to the final four, um, you know, Dante Ingram, uh, you know, Gloria Alicia, he he he's I think graduated when I did. But, you know, he he we had a class together. We would kick it all the time. But like even people along the way, you know, I feel like I've always been very simple in terms of, you know, you treat people the right way. Um, you know, I don't have these grand expectations of, of, of people. Like I, I just, I, I try to just be a normal person. I try to, you know, have normal conversations and, um, you know, at, 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 for me in life in general, it's all about relationships as well. So that's something I learned and, and was really ingrained in me at, at an early point. 